Yeah, hell yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, it's it's an amazing piece of technology. I'm surprised that more people don't get on the air with things like this. But, you know, the fact that you can go out and buy an Anon, it's just there's, a, I would assume, not much curiosity, you know, because that's, that's good enough. Yeah, I, I'm not capable of the math required to work out what you're doing and so on and so forth. I'm, I don't have a college degree. I'm a hands-on engineer. I'm sure I'd figure it out eventually, but uh, if it's over my head, <laughs> the average ham, oh boy. Well, it's not that bad. I've my buddy Jerry's been helping me. He's like a radar technician. He's really, really good at math, and he showed me this program called New Radio, G N U Radio. And I'm using the new radio Windows 10 Companion, and it's basically just a program with tons and tons and tons of different DSP stuff, and it's block-based. Like, you'll open up objects and drag them out on the screen as a block, and you set the parameters of whatever DSP object it is, and you pipe them together. Um, you know, with either like an audio connection or a complex connection and like literally sitting down with it for a couple of hours, I've made some files, you know, that do all sorts of different things. And, you know, you just pipe your audio in from the sound card. It it processes it and it spits out an audio INQ signal to achieve whatever the hell you want, you know. Oh, that's cool. Yes, I could deal with that. I could definitely deal with that. Like the Halicrafters transmitter, the phasing sideband, all of that phase splitting, the I and Q is generated with hardware, passive phase shift networks, uh, twin balanced modulators, uh, with, you know, two audio chains and so on. It's uh, very, very hardware based. And the uh, SDR is, is that system in software. It's actually pronounced GNU radio. GNU radio. So you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm a Linux engineer. So, yeah, look, I just opened up my GNU radio file for lower sideband. I've got an audio source block, right? Feeds a bandpass filter. Just simple audio bandpass filter into a Hilbert filter. And then that feeds uh, a complex conjugate. That's how you get your phase shift. And then that complex conjugate feeds complex to float, which just, I guess, converts it back into audio. And that feeds an audio sync output. That's it. I just, I dragged one, two, three, four, five, six blocks onto this page, configured the bandpass filter, set the Hilbert filter for uh, 4,095 taps, and like that's it. I just connected the things together and bam, it spits out the correct I and Q I need to make lower sideband. You get rid of the complex conjugate and it makes upper sideband. Like it, it's it's actually easy. Yeah, there's uh, there's actually a couple of uh, GUIs for that that gives you an actual radio for an end. And you can link it to uh, saved programs you have in GNU Radio and it'll recall them. Um, it makes it a little bit more user friendly to get on the air, but it's still a pain in the butt. What are you using for RF, RF generation? The Vector Signal Generator. It's uh, Roden Schwartz uh, SMIQ 03B Vector Signal Gen. Nerator. Yavo. W2JBL. Who's the other station? Uh, 